Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I'm here on my range with my latest new toy, the HS Ice Phoenix, which was sent to me by Heatwave and is just a magnificent, masterful, beefy thing, and I love it. Uh, I'm gonna be plinking with it. I'm gonna put a variety of different ammos through it, and I am going to compare it to the closest thing I think Hasbro ever came out to something like this, uh, Magnus. We'll see how we'll see how it how it measures up. Um, should be fun. It takes mega half darts from a magazine in the grip, so it's a it's a beefy thing. And to start, I am going to be firing the darts that it came with, which are cut down off-brand mega darts, so they're not actual Nerf mega darts. And uh, we'll see how they do, and then we're going to try some other stuff that I think might do better, but we'll see. So, prime. Come on, there we go. Yep. All right, can I hit a target? I can. I hit another target. No. We'll try some more. Oh. I love that they whistle. I got him. I don't know where that one went. One more. Oh. It's got some schutzpa, but it it's, uh, doesn't have the greatest accuracy. Let's see what we can do about that. First step for attempting to improve accuracy, we have this, which is sort of a scar barrel of sorts. It doesn't, it's got a really tight rifling and it's not actually, the darts don't actually engage with the rifling itself. It's meant to uh, cause kind of a, a wind vortex of some sort and hopefully impart spin. We're gonna find out. A wind has kicked up, so Lord knows if we're gonna be able to actually tell, but it makes it even bigger and beefier and that's awesome. So here we go. Does it get any more accurate? I don't know. Well, that one went nice and straight. That one did not. And that one did. That one did not. I don't know. Dubious. More testing is needed. Let's try a different ammo. A while back, I was forward thinking enough to have acquired a whole bunch of Accu fake mega darts that were on like Lytake or NF Strike or wherever they once were available. I don't know that they still are, but I bought like 400 of them or something. So I cut down some of those and we're gonna see if they are any more accurate. They tend to be from anything else. So let's see how they work here. Well, that definitely went straighter. Oh, we did not feed. Oh no, we got a mag jam. There we go. Oh, we don't seem to have as much power. There we go. Definitely flies straighter. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I got the range. Yeah, one more. Ah, <laughs> Accu strike, man. I love it. I love it. I've got enough to fill a mag, so I'm uh, I'm gonna reload. All right, now I'm gonna try it with our pseudo scar thing and see how it works now. Oh, that was nice and straight. Oh, a little low. Oh, oh, jam. Oh no. Mag didn't feed and it jammed. Oh, it jammed it good. <laughs> Come on, no. I need a stick. Luckily, I'm gonna forest. Round down. All right, now we're good. Okay, here we go. Yes. Oh. I don't know if it's any more accurate, but it definitely isn't any less accurate. That is fabulous. Let's try the Magnus. Train. Right, if magazine fed's not your thing, there's no reason uh, that I can tell that you shouldn't be able to just barrel load this thing. So we're gonna, you know, if you wanna turn your glorious hand cannon into a glorified jolt, you can. And now we are using just, these are standard Nerf Mega Darts. So let's see how it works barrel loading those. Oh, about like you'd expect, Lord. Oh, oh no sir. Oh, 
Oh, mega at high power. It's been a while since I, I got high power regular mega. Oh, I got a bottle. <laughs> that was neat. Let's try some better ammo. Well, the uh, half darts AccuFix works pretty good. So let's try full length AccuStrike. Oh, mm. dubious. Oh, there we go. Found the middle. Ah, a little bit low still. I got one more ammo type. The last one is actual AccuStrike. Official AccuStrike round. Oh, it fires straight, but it's still firing low, so aim a little higher. There it is. Oh, still low. Because I keep forgetting I gotta aim high. Anyway, yeah, that'll do. Some feed issues with the magazine, and I don't know if that's darts being sticky or if I didn't cut them quite short enough or, or what's going on there, but uh, most of them fed. And uh, the AccuStrike, Accu Fake Rounds, flew nice and straight. That would be a lovely mega pistol. I would need a, well, I probably have some standard holsters that would probably fit in the Ultra 2 holsters I have. I have to give that a try. And, uh, yeah, maybe print myself some more magazines, though I can't imagine, honestly, 14 rounds is probably enough for whatever I'd be doing. There's a train coming this way. It's gonna be here any minute. So, uh, I'm gonna head back to the shop and give you the good news and the bad news. Train. All right, we'll start with the good news. This thing performed way better than I expected, uh, especially with the AccuStrike half darts. That is definitely, in my opinion, the way to go. It probably gets a little less FPS just because the AccuFakes are heavier. Um, if you could get a copious amount of AccuStrike darts um, and were willing to cut them up, then that would that would probably get you even better performance because they'd be even lighter. Um, I recently had somebody ask me, I don't remember if it was in uh, Q and A or in my live stream with uh, uh, Al the Geek, why we don't see more mega half darts in our hobby. And I don't think we had a really good answer. And I am now also asking, hey, why don't we see more mega half darts? They seem to, to work quite well. Um, and I think it's mostly just there isn't as much call for it. People are developing half dart blasters. Um, half dart mega blasters would be a whole nother ecosystem. But uh, there are places where mega is really valuable, certain games. And uh, I mean, I'm really tempted to run this at Borst now to take out shields because it, it fires nice and straight at 25 feet. And that's about the range that I'd be engaging a shield at. And uh, yeah, magazine fed, all of that. If I need to get another shot, I can. I could probably, I'm sure I've got holsters that this would fit. And uh, yeah. So let's talk about the actual blaster. Um, as I said, this was sent to me by Heatwave, is, is the name. It's the Ice Phoenix. Rear prime. And uh, very Desert Eagle-y looking, and I dig all of that. Oh, <laughs> one thing I forgot to mention, because I didn't know it was a thing, because I definitely wasn't expecting it. This does, in fact, have slam fire. Now, why anyone would need to slam fire a pistol like this, I don't know, but... Oh, maybe not. Well, now I don't know what's going on. Maybe it doesn't have slam fire, or I don't know how to slam fire it. Anyway, I was told it had slam fire. Anyway, yeah, it's it's neat because the the way the internals are built, it's the barrel is centered. I was expecting it to have like the plunger system above and the barrel below, or, or the other way around, as we've seen in some other larger high-powered pistols. But in this one, the plunger uh, the barrel actually goes through the plunger um, and it uses a rotating cam catch, which I don't know. I'm sure that's probably that may have been done somewhere, but I have never seen it in a blaster. I don't have every blaster that's ever been built, of course, but I can't think of another blaster that has a system quite like that. And uh, it just all around makes for a really aesthetically pleasing package. It looks like a Desert Eagle, which is good and bad. Um, 
uh, for, for various reasons. I mean, somewhere in After Worlds, this thing would be amazing. Um, it's a little, perhaps a little bit realistic of a silhouette, if, if, unless you go with really bright colors for Public Wars, but um, the performance is incredible for what it is. For, for something this size to be able to fire a mega half dart at 110 FPS is really fairly impressive given the form factor. And that's that's the thing, is it's such a nice looking shell, it's such a nice looking form factor, and yet has all of that performance. I find to be, the performance still baffles me, um, really, really cool. Um, it's got Nerf rail top and bottom, or, or uh, um, I think it's rival rail, he said it was, more so than Picatinny rail. Um, there's a few things that are a little bit loose. Like I said, this is a prototype. Uh, it is still in development. Uh, and that's the bad news, is I don't know that they're available for purchase yet. They may be. If they are, I'll have all the links down in the description to all the various things. I believe the files are available. Hardware list is probably available. And uh, he may, he said he may be taking commissions for like one a month. Um, he, I have recommended that he look into getting them made by other people. This is just a cool enough blaster. I think there would be a market for it, or at least for parts kits. Um, Out of Darts sells a lot of parts kits for, they don't sell the actual blaster. You have to print the blaster yourself, but they will sell the parts kits, which just makes it so much easier than having to source all the, the, the nuts and bolts and bars and whatnot. Um, so I recommend that you reach out to them or Silver Fox or, or various other um, entities in the community that are willing to build and or sell parts because eh, this is really cool. Um, there definitely is some development that I think could be done. I will be giving my feedback to them. Um, there's some parts that could be reinforced or printed to different orientations or things like that um, that he's almost certainly aware of. He has he has already developed has some other ideas for various things. Um, I I love this thing and I'm glad I got my hands on it. I am I am looking forward to to using this at some point because it's just neat and unique at this point. Uh, so yeah, magazine fed half dart mega hand cannon. Very, very cool. Um, he has considered rebarreling, reporting it for um, full length or for regular half darts because if it's got the power to move a mega half dart that much, how fast could it move a regular half dart, which are considerably lighter? Um, you'd need, you know, a magwell adapter. You'd need a different barrel. There's other things that would need to be considered. Um, Alternatively, just scale the whole thing down, make a half dart version of it instead of a mega um, half dart version of it. Um, but I find the, the internal mechanism to be very innovative and fascinating, and I'm looking forward to seeing what comes of that, because being able to make something this size with that performance is cool, and I, I would love to see what else uh, comes of it. He is planning to make a pump kit and a stock attachment point for it, so that you could turn this into a carbine, a pump action carbine of sorts, um, which again would be really, really cool because the mechanism is there. It's just now you're just looking at form factor and priming mechanism and all of that, and you can you can go whichever way you want. Um, I like it as a pistol just because I like big, beefy blasters, and that is a big, beefy blaster. I'm gonna check holsters. I wanna see if I've got a holster that this will easily fit in. I'm gonna try an Ultra 2 holster first. Would you look at that? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you look? Look at that! Look at it! I oh, know my leather is separating. I need to glue that. But uh, yeah, yeah, that'll uh, <laughs> that'll do. <laughs> Modularity, I love it. Kind of ashamed I didn't think of it first. Double AK pouch. Yup. 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 Right, let's wrap this up. Fabulous blaster. Love it. Cool prototype. I look forward to its future further development. I hope it does, in fact, end up in production and people can get their hands on these because Mega just doesn't get enough love. And, uh... This, this is a way that it could. I think if we actually started developing more mega half dart uh, ecosystems, we we might see some really neat, beefy stuff. The downside is, of course, mega mega hits a lot harder, but it also has a larger surface area. So you know, still um, needs more love. 
more, more of that big caliber stuff, them big blasters. Give me the big ones. All right. My thanks to Heatwave for sending me this and for developing this. This is just cool and I dig it. And my thanks to you guys for watching. <laughs> Blamity.